Welcome to CBS This Morning. Good morning, Nora. Yes, good morning. We should say Gail King is on, on assignment. assignment for us. I yes. should have said that at the beginning. We begin here. A bipartisan budget deal faces its first test today on Capitol Hill. The House of Representatives plans to vote on the agreement worked out after months of gridlock. But many conservative groups are urging Republicans to vote against the compromise. But the Speaker of the House is telling those opponents to get lost. And it was Nancy Cordes that got that reaction from the Speaker. And she joins us now from Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nora and Charlie. Yeah, it's rare for the House Speaker to lash out against groups from his own party, but after they bashed yet another compromise that had been worked out by party leaders, he had had enough. Why? No sooner had Paul Ryan announced the deal than powerful conservative groups began to bash it. Americans for Prosperity called it bad policy and bad politics. Heritage Action called it a step backwards and urged conservatives to vote no, angering the party's leader, John Boehner. Mr. Speaker, most um, major conservative groups have put out statements blasting this deal. Are you worried you mean that the they're. The groups that came out and opposed it before they ever saw it? Yes, those groups. Are you you worried that their they're, opposition... they're using our members and they're using the American people uh, for their own goals. This is ridiculous. If you're for more deficit reduction, you're for this agreement. The deal does cut the deficit modestly by about 23 billion over 10 years, but those savings only come in the later years. It's sort of like the wimpy uh, saying, "I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today." Republican Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky says he'll vote no, which puts him at odds with his possible 2016 Republican presidential rival. Do you think Paul Ryan made a mistake by cutting this deal? Yeah, the status quo is better. It sends the wrong message to the stock market, the wrong message to the world. It says we're not serious about our debt. But many of his fellow conservatives told us they'll take this deal and try for more in the new year. Well, I think uh, it's a positive step forward. It's not all that I would prefer seeing, but it, overall it's a net reduction. It is unusual for conservative members to buck these conservative groups. They have deep pockets. They can fund primary opponents. But there was a growing sense here on Capitol Hill that the groups couldn't back any compromise. And without major defections from the right and left, it does appear that this bill is poised to pass in the House today. Nora and Charlie. Nancy, thanks. House Budget Committee.